Uh, whenever I'm decorating um, uh, a home, I really like to try and inject some of a client's personality into the home. So that's what you should try, try and do. Your home is an expression of yourself. So you really should try and put some of the things that you love into your home. So for example, if you're interested in sport or music, for, for example, think about perhaps some stuff that you've got, displaying it in a really nice way. And I, I prefer, I think it's much more effective to display collections together rather than sort of all over the house, like there's a picture on one wall, another thing on another wall. Display it all together, so it's, you know, in a really nice way, so it's a really nice thing to look at. Um, and then think about what you love. I think, I talk to my clients about what they love. Perhaps you've got a love of 20th century furniture, and you want to display that in your home. Um, perhaps, uh, you know, you've got, you've got, you're really conscious of the environment, and you, um, you know, you want to be eco-friendly, so perhaps you want to look at eco-friendly fabrics, materials, furnishings, um, something with a low carbon footprint, and um, that will inject personality into your home because it's an expression of, of you. Um, and another thing is perhaps um, if you've got, you know, look at the, the era of your home, when your home was built. So um, if it was, say, a Victorian um, house or an arts and crafts house, you could maybe look at sort of local artisans, look into the history of the type of furniture that, and, and colours and furnishings that were in a house of that era. Era. like you don't want to you know relive the past but you could bring elements of that into your home to make it unique